Hi, I'm Miss Del Rosario and I teach health for grade 12. This is a required class. Students will have health for one marking period out of the year. We Google Meet every day for class and we start the marking period off with a unit on stress management and resiliency. And then we go into contraceptives, STIs and sexual orientation. We then do a unit on preparing for marriage and preparing for parenting. Some of the units sound like they would be repetitive from previous years of health, but it's also one of the reasons why I enjoy teaching grade 12 students, because it's on a different level, they're older. Um, we're on a deeper level when we do um, class discussions. Uh, the other thing that students experience is caring for infants. So one task they have to get through is taking care of the mechanical baby for a 24 hour period. Um, I tell my students that I know it's just a mechanical baby, um, and if I could get them a real baby, I would, but I can't. So this is the next best thing. When grading my students, they get about six tests, which are averaged together and equals about 40% of their grade. Not all of my tests are written. For example, we, they, would do, they do a group presentation, um, which counts as a test grade. 20% of their grade will be a Google slide presentation within one of the units we do. 10% of their grade comes from class participation. Uh, we do a lot of class discussions and they're expected to participate. And then finally, 10% of their grade comes from their notebook, which will be posted periodically throughout the marking period. Um, and then they hand in their notebook at the end of the course. If you have any questions, all of my parents who have students in class with me this marking period have been invited into my Google Classroom. Um, please check out my virtual classroom Google slide. Uh, you'll find everything there um, that I just talked about on that slide by clicking um, the words or the images. For example, if you click on the contact me um, button, uh, my email pops up and you can email me. And that's it. Thank you and have a good evening.